kindness, noun, a nature of concern for others, similar to concern for one's own family, kind, adjective, having a concern for others, similar to the concern for one's own family, history and etymology, kind as an adjective is cognate or closely related to, kind as a noun, both coming from the obsolete English word ikunda after losing the initial vowel. The Old English word from which it was derived, jacinda, meant natural, native, or innate, and originally the feeling of relatives for each other. It comes from the same Germanic base as the Old English word kund and the Old High German word chund or chunt. These are suffixes forming adjectives meaning the same nature as. We also derive the word kin, which means family. If we go back even further to Proto-Indo-European, kind ultimately derives from the word gene, which means to produce, beget, or give birth, which is the origin of many English words like genus, genes, genesis, genetic, genre, and gender. Trust me, I'll do an entry on gender later. I've got big plans for that one. Fun little fact, the G in Jen changing into a K is an example of something called Grimm's Law. Yes, that Grimm. Jakob Grimm, the eldest of the Grimm brothers. Jakob was not only an expert in German fairy tales and folklore, but also philology. I've heard him called the Charles Darwin of the humanities, but because before him, the answer to where all the languages came from was the Tower of Babel. But anyway, Grimm's Law describes how some sounds changed from Proto-Indo-European into the sounds we use today. Part of Grimm's Law explains how what's called a voiced aspirated stop, like the letter G in the Proto-Indo-European word Jen, will eventually become a voiceless fricative, like the K in kind in modern European languages. I'll probably end up doing a whole entry on Grimm's Law in the future at some point. I look forward to doing that because I don't know a whole lot about it and it'll be fun to explore. Prescription. One of the things I found most interesting researching the history of the word kindness is its relationship to kin and family. Humans treat their family better than they treat other people. Humans have this ability to take that behavior and extend it to strangers and people around them. And that's what we call kindness. Recently, I saw one of the most amazing examples of kindness I think I've ever seen in my life. Recently, Richard Spencer, one of the heads of the alt-right movement, visited a college campus in Florida, and there was a massive protest outside. And one of the white supremacists who had come to listen to Richard Spencer speak, I mean, he was literally a Nazi. He had swastikas on his shirt. He was being harassed by the crowd, and you've all heard the meme, punch a Nazi. And that's definitely not kindness. He was being harassed and punched. To these protesters, he wasn't a human that just didn't understand what was going on, didn't understand his own beliefs. He was a symbol that needed to be destroyed. At some point, an African-American high school sports coach who had come to attend the protest approached this man and tried hugging him, an act of kindness, like a member of his family. It took three attempts. Eventually, the man reciprocated, wrapped his arms around him, and the coach asked, why do you hate me? And the white supremacist said, I don't know. That moment probably changed that man's life forever because of a simple act of kindness. Not fear, not rage, not hate, but kindness. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this entry in my video dictionary, please leave a like or an upvote. If you're a lover of words and the history of the English language, please subscribe and follow my channel for more. And please don't hesitate to let me know what you thought in the comments below.